Hi everyone, today I will introduce APP Wizard. APP Wizard is a Windows tool of EMWIN. User can make a runnable app without coding. We will make a simple HMI app and run on N4.16.7. On the left side, we will utilize four button widgets and calibrate the result and show on right side editor. On the right side, we will add two new widgets from EMWIN and also add interactions from left to right. APP Wizard can be divided into three parts. In the first part, we can use objects to design our app. In Project 3, all widgets will list here and uh, easy to management. Some advanced features can be selected here. For example, we can use variables to do some advanced interactions. In the second part, the editor area, user can arrange which position. In interactions area, user can describe objects interactions. For example, if user click the first button, edit object will add 100. The third part is properties. All widgets properties can be selected and changed in this properties window. Next, we will start to design a simple HMI app. From Windows desktop, double click app wizard. We want to create a new project, so click and select the project path. Modify project name and change color format to 565 for best performance. Then check enable multiple buffering and click OK. The first object code screen and we need a background color, so we click box. As you can see, box object has a default color. We can add test object and modify its content. For example, we want to show result. Click test object drag and drop to the desired position. To change test object's content, we can select set test from properties window. From this dialog, we can create new language, for example, EN for English, and add a test, double click the minus symbol, and the type result, and click select. As you can see, now there is a label show result for our HMI app. Next, we will edit object. Edit object will display the calculation result. So we need to set decimal more. Now we can limit decimal range. So we can check range here. Click set range and give minima and maxima. Next, we need to add 100 to edit. So we need a button. Drag the button to the desired position. This button is plus 100 to edit. So we add a test label on this button. In properties window, we can click set test type plus 100 and click select. As you can see, there is a plus 100 test label on the button. Follow the same steps to finish the rest of three buttons. EMWIN has some modern widgets we can add into our HMI app to reach our application. For example, we can add gauge here and the rotary object. In this stage, we finish HMI app layout. Click Start Play More to see the preview result. Next, we will introduce into extreme part, so that when we click plus 100 button, editor will add 100, or operate rotary, the gauge object will change. In interaction area, follow the step to add interactions between rotary and the gauge. Click OK. Now, we can click Start Play More to see the preview result. As you can see, when we change rotary, the gauge scroll bar will also change. Next, we will add interactions between rotary and the editor. Follow the same step to finish. Click OK. Click Start Play More to see the preview result. Now, as you can see, when we operate rotary, editor value will also change. Next. We want to click plus 100 button to add 100 to editor value. So we need a variable. In advanced feature, click variables and follow the step to finish. Click OK. Then in interactions area, follow the steps to add interactions between button variables and edit. Click OK.
click OK. Now we can click Start Preview Mode to see the preview result. As you can see, the edit value is zero. So we click plus 100. It will plus 100 here. Next, we will finish the rest free button. First, in advanced feature, click variables. Add the rest three variables. When all variables finished, get it OK. When we finish the rest three buttons in the variables, we can click Start Play More. Then all buttons are interacting with edit object. When we finish a PP with a project, we want to run on new maker board. So first we can export and save this project. And click project to see the project path. We can utilize BSP's Simple Demo App Wizard to run our Simple HMI app. First, into Simple Demo App Wizard, into Application, delete these two folders. Copy the new two folders. Then open Kyle IDE. In Kyle IDE, we can click Manager Project Item. In Application Group, delete all files and add new files. All files edit, click OK. Expand Project 3. We can find all files are added into application group. Then we can click Rebuild to make our project. When complete build process, we can click Load to burn to new maker ball. Please refer to MPU PSP link for more details about burning code. More HMI resources can be found at these links. The above is to utilize App Wizard to create a simple HMI app. Thanks for watching.